Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Marathon. If you guys remember in the last episode, we went to this little spooky place after all that lag. It's just a souvenir shop, nothing suspicious about it, no need to be alarmed. We went to the souvenir shop and we did some stuff. Go check it out if you have not already. Uh, this is our team really quick, I just wanted to just wanted to point that out. Bond still did not evolve, it's pissing me off so much. So much, and I'm chewing gum, so sorry if you hear me chewing gum all the time. But ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, we are finally going to be able to challenge this gym. So, Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym, the leader is Price. The teacher of Winter's Harshness. Yup, Price. And he's an Ice-type gym leader, which is pretty insane. Let's talk to this guy. Price is a veteran. Oh no, he has a voice. What was his voice? Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice. Alright, thanks man. You didn't even say you're yo champ in the making thing. Come on, I gotta be motivated. You have to motivate me. Don't kill my vibe, bro. Don't kill my vibe. So basically, there's a little puzzle sort of thing. It's like a puzzle gym. Kind of. I mean, there's always gonna be a couple of these puzzle gyms. In every Pokemon game, so we might as well just get rid of it now. So uh, there's these two people. I'm gonna battle them really quick. And um, yeah, also I forgot to mention against Ice types. Uh, if you start off with a Fire type, use a Fire type. Just use a Fire type, Fighting type, Rock type, just a bunch of types. So yeah, I'm using Smokey. Let's battle these two people. Okay, those two people were not that hard, so we took them down pretty easily. Now this part is kind of tricky. Just kidding, it's not really that tricky. All you gotta do is hit that over there, and then you can go up, so it's not really that I don't know what I was saying. Not too tricky at all. Uh, there's three more people we can battle. I'm just gonna battle all three of them for the experience, and you should probably do that too. Okay, everybody, finally, this is Price's gym for real, though. This time's for real. This time's for real. Now, all you have to do to get through the gym is that to get through the first puzzle. I mean, not the whole gym. Whoops, that would be way too easy. Uh, to get through the second puzzle, just hit this rock thing. What are those anyways? Are they rocks? I don't know. I don't know, but wherever it is, just hit it, and then you got to hit this again. Go over here. You actually, I think you don't need to battle this guy. Am I? No, no, you have to battle this guy. And this guy actually knows Price's secret. The reason Price is so strong is because every day he sits on top of very cold ice and trains his body and spirit. Yep, that's the only secret there is to being strong. But here we go. Here is Price, the old man. Old man Wes. <laughs> no, old man. Uh, if anyone gets that reference, comment down below. So yes, all you... I actually switched up. I forgot to mention. What am I talking about all you? I switched circles up front because Smokey is actually not going to be very helpful. I know, crazy, right? It's a ice type gym, and Smokey's not gonna be helpful. But you will see why soon enough. I recommend saving before you battle Old Man West, aka Price. Um, but I'm not going to because I like living on the edge. So Price, let's give him a voice. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. But since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Man, that voice was hard. That actually hurt a lot. <clears throat> <coughs> that hurt a lot. That voice hurt a lot. 
All right, here we go. Leader Price. And the wind blows off of him like a model. He starts out with Seal, level 30. It has Icy Wind, Rest, Snore, and Hail with the ability Thick Fast. So don't hit it with any Fire or Ice type moves. I don't know why you would anyways, but just don't do it, please. So that's why I'm leading off with Circles because it's a Water type. So hit it with Electric or Grass types if you have any. If not, send out your amazing Furret to just take care of him easy peasy. And my Speed Fail, perfect. We're still faster. We're still faster. That's circles coming clutch. So we took out that seal. That's nice. Got 642 experience. So seal should not be too hard. If seal gives you trouble, please go back and train. Now, Pillow Swine is his MVP of his team. The most valuable Pokemon. So basically, this Pillow Swine. Hold on. We gotta wait for it. We gotta wait for it. We gotta wait for it. Okay. Pillow Swine level 34. The ability Snow Cloak it has a Citrus Berry in its hand. It's holding a Citrus Berry. <laughs> and uh, this moveset is Hail, like you see. Blizzard, Ice Fang, and Mud Bomb. So watch out for this thing. It's an Ice Ground type. I don't even know why he has this seal, not to think of it. It's not even an Ice type. I don't know. That's pretty weird. It's okay, though. It's okay. So basically, hit this thing with a Water type, uh, Grass type, Fighting type, Fire type, maybe, if you want to take the risk. Just hit it hard, because it can do some major damage with Hail and then Blizzard. So just like he's doing now. Hail and then Blizzard really hurts, so just try taking him out very quickly. Blizzard does a lot of damage. How do you avoid Surf? How is that even possible? Oh my lord. This game is such AIDS. Such AIDS. Okay, he's probably going to use Blizzard again. I'm actually just going to switch out into... Uh, Circles. Hopefully circles can do some work. You can put in some work. He used Blizzard again. Yup, I called it. I knew it. I knew it. Blizzard is gonna do a ton of damage and hail is gonna hurt. I think I'm gonna have to go for the flinch if I want circles to live. Gonna have to go for the flinch. Or I can heal up. I can heal up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna heal up. Sorry, I gotta play the stall game really quick. Quick stall game. So, super potion this up, this bad boy. Please don't use Blizzard. He used Blizzard again. How many Blizzards does he have? Oh my lord. He should have only like five, so. He should be out soon. Jeez, that did a lot of damage. Jeez, 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 jeez. I don't know what to do. Should I go for the flinch? Should I go for it? Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Come on. Come on, circles. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, that did nothing and he landed it. Oh wow, oh wow. This is a little tougher than I expected. This is a little tougher than I expected. Oh, now the hail stops. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna actually go out into Smokey. How come Circles dies in every single gym badge? Like, I don't get it. Every single gym badge, he always dies. It's crazy. Okay, Ember, how much did that do? Just enough to make him want to use a potion. Perfect. Oh, we burned him. We burned him. The luck. The luck. But he doesn't even have any physical type moves. Oh, he has Ice Fang. I guess that's that's physical. Can this kill? Can this burn kill? Oh, he has one HP. He's definitely going to heal up. So I'm just going to Ember again. So lucky. So lucky. You're so lucky, Wes. Oh my gosh. You're so lucky, Wes. Okay, this Ember has to do a ton of damage because we're in Blaze. That actually did not do that much. Are we in Blaze? No, actually, I don't think we are. What's a third of 89? I don't even know. That's like 30. We're barely not in Blaze. Wow, he didn't miss Mud Bomb either, so that looks like Smokey's going down. Yup, Smokey's is down. Thank God we're not doing a Nuzlocke of this. Thank God. Okay, Smokey's is down. Pillow Swine is going to get hurt. He's not going to die. Oh my goodness, this thing never dies. So he might heal up again. He might heal up again, but I'm going to go for a quick attack, thinking that he's not going to heal up. And he doesn't heal up, and Bond gets the kill. Wow, Bond getting the kill on Pillow Swine. That's intense. Only 582 experience, because Porkchop steals some of that. Now Dugong, his uh, other last Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. His last Pokemon. Dugong. Oh, we got to wait for it. We got to wait for it. Okay, Dugong, level 32, the ability Thick Fat, 
He said something. He said, I'm quite the trainer. Thank you, old man Wes. Thank you. I'm going to go for a headbutt. Or should I heal up? I'm just going to go for a headbutt. Has Aurora Beam, which he's using right now. Rest, Sleep Talk, and Ice Shard. So be careful with that Rest, Sleep Talk combination. It's going to do a ton of damage to you. Headbutt. Oh, we got a crit. Headbutt crit. Oh, yeah. Headbutt crit coming in clutch. Let's use a Hyper Potion. Why not? I have plenty to spare. We're actually under-leveled. This is like the first gym battle we are under-leveled for. This is crazy. I need to do some, some grinding. Ice Shard. Hey, you ain't gonna get the kill on me. Let's just keep going for the headbutt. Sorry if you can hear me chewing gum. I love gum. I always chew gum when I record. I don't know. I think it's like a habit or something. I gotta stop doing that. Aurora Beam. That's gonna do some more damage. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, we're at half health. Almost exactly half health. Headbutt does absolutely nothing. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Too much information, bro. Too much information. It's just headbutt again. Quick clock activate. Can we get the flinch? If we can get the flinch. That would be so clutch. Oh, we got the crit. That's even clutcher. Yes, that's even clutcher. Woo. That's so clutch. Pork chop coming in clutch for the first time ever. Him and his derp face. That's how we do it. Got some nice HP, 104. Hmm, seems as if my luck has run out. I forgot his voice already. I am impressed by your... What word is that? Prowess? Is that what does that even mean? Prowess? Prowess? With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this... Oh, I don't even know. We got the Glacier Badge from Price, yeah! Yeah! That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon, yeah. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpool. I can't even say that world. Whirlpools. Whirlpool. 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 There we go. Whirlpool. And this. This is the gift from me. Obtain TM07. Lucky number 11. That TM contains hail. Oh, wow. Hail is booty. Summons a hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except ice. Hail is booty. That's such booty. Alright, anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. We finally took out Price and got our seventh gym badge. So we only have one badge left. So close. So close. I'm so excited. So if you guys like this, do everything that it says in a second. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I'm out. Me and this champ in the making, dude. We are both out together. Peace. Okay, guys, sorry about that unexpected return, but um, I actually forgot about this. Professor Elm is calling us, so let's do this. PC, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They're talking about Team Rocket. PT, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. And he's gone, so hint, hint where we're going to go next, Radio Tower. Cough, 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 hint, hint. See, so, yep, up there you go. All right, now I'm out for real. You know everything I already said. I'm out for real. Deuces.